Mounting problems at the International Space Station this morning. Yesterday's scheduled spacewalk was called off at the last minute because of a water leak in one of the astronauts' space suits. And as Mark Strassman reports, that's on top of NASA once again postponing the return of Boeing Starliner's first crewed mission to the ISS. Ignition and liftoff. Just hours after Starliner's June 5th launch came the first sign of trouble. Starliner looks like we picked up a couple more helium leaks. All right, we're ready to copy and uh, find out exactly what you mean by picked up another helium leak. The Boeing built spacecraft had launched with one small helium leak. Now it has five. Starliner also lost five small maneuvering engines on its final approach to the space station. All but one were recovered. But the glitches convinced NASA to delay Starliner's return to Earth. We want to give our teams a little bit more time to look at the data do some analysis and make sure we're really ready to come home. CBS News space analyst Bill Harwood. It's not like they're stranded on the space station, but uh, NASA just wants to get as much information as they can before the crew comes home. So far, all these problems have been in Starliner's service module, but it gets thrown away before the capsule re-enters the Earth's atmosphere, meaning engineers need to examine the faulty hardware while in space. That's why they're making this big effort to get as much data as they can, because that's what they're going to have to base their decisions on downstream. Starliner could stay in space at least a few more weeks before it would have to return to Earth. Until it does, astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams will be extra hands to help out on the space station. Mark Strassman, CBS News, Atlanta.